Traders, I'm done for the day. Let me show you my account. Here's how it looks like and I'll go quickly through Tesla because that was my uh, main trade today just like it was yesterday. So here it is. This is how it looks. I've got an unpleasant loser in LK, double the size I anticipated. I just didn't notice it was going through my stop loss. I've got a loser in spot. Uh, Tesla went out fine as you can see here with $18,000, $19,000, almost 19 and still riding. So I just made over 20 grand uh, in Tesla today but uh, also had some losers. So as you can see my end result today is a bit over $14,000 which is an amazing day but <laughs> not even close to yesterday. Well yesterday was a very special day. Anyway, today is a great day, but I do want to talk a little bit about uh, the Tesla trade. So I didn't know today I'm going to trade Tesla. I did expect it to be on the short side because Tesla started with a gap down of 10% today right over here. And I was looking for a short. Initially, I couldn't do anything because it just started by moving down. If it could have moved down, popped back up and continued to move down just kind of what it did yesterday, I could have shorted it and probably enjoy this first move down. But I would say that was too early, uh, too dangerous, too volatile and um, I'm glad I, I was not really participating in this one. But then Tesla moved up in a big, big way and I was starting to think whether I could short it because again, I wanted to short it because it was down 10% and I'm looking at the daily of Tesla. Let's take a quick look at the daily of Tesla so that we just remember what's going on there. You see, recently the stock was at 250 something dollars and went all the way almost to 1000 and here's the pullback that we're experiencing today. So that calls for a short, that definitely calls for a short. The reason why it moved up, I don't care. The reason why it comes down, profit taking, fear that um, people, you know, uh, uh, may lose some of their uh, earnings, uh, whatever. So stock is coming down, definitely looks like an opportunity to short, but where do you move in? So you may remember I mentioned at this first red candle you're seeing here, I mentioned that, well, this probably is the pullback time of Tesla because I didn't expect it to continue higher because it was down 10% because the daily shouts like, I want to come down. So I was looking for a short in Tesla, but just red candle, as long as it's trending higher, I can't do that because maybe the stock is just going to pull back down and then move another 50 points up, just like Tesla knows how to do. So I need some kind of a confirmation. I need some kind of a technical formation. Now, do I have the technical formation? Well, yes, I do have the technical formation. Hold on a second. I do have the technical formation. The technical formation came only here. Why? Because I had this green candle here. So it came down. At that point, I could have, I, I, we could have had two, we, we had two options. Tesla could have continued moving higher. That was a classic pullback and a reversal, and it could have continued moving higher. That's a very simple technical formation. So we could have had a long here if it moved over this uh, topping candle here, topping tail here, but it decided to move lower, as was anticipated, because. Tesla did look like it's going to come down today because it's 10% down, started 10% down and because the daily looks like it does. So putting, a, um, putting a, my post in the trading room to short under 820 was a very, very clear entry, technical entry right over here. That was the 820 mark, shorted it it went down like a dream and that was my first trade in Tesla. Left small size, it popped back up. I also thought at that point that it is, it could be possible for Tesla to make a decision to move higher. It did not. It went sideways and after all made the decision to move lower and again the second trade is very very technical. I posted it for short under 793 uh, uh, which was uh, right over was it here? Yeah, it was here at that point, I think. 793, was it? I think so. I can't remember. So 793, somewhere over here. Can't remember when, but look at the result. And again, Tesla is coming down. So Tesla is my biggest winner today. Uh, the rest, um, I had uh, one good trade in take two and another loser. I mean, started with a loser. 
rest I paid money actually. LK was a loser, Spot was a loser, Tesla was a huge winner and just having a great day thanks to Tesla and quite simple really. Stocks gapping down, daily looks like it does, nice technical entries on the short side. Of course, much smaller quantity than yesterday. Could have made more money today with, uh, with larger quantity, but yesterday was a mistake. I moved in with um, too much and I was lucky. And today I'm just playing the right game and it's a fantastic trading session today with over 14 grand. But you know, that's the right way it should be with a bigger, uh, with a much less risk and the right thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you had fun today and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for participating and um, thank you for being with us, you guys on YouTube. If you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would be very, very helpful. Uh, we would love that for our community. So thank you all. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part one of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.